Hi everybody, welcome to Music Moves for Piano Book 3, Unit 4A. We're going to start by moving in duple meter. Do day do chant macro beats on do. Do 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 micro beats. Do day do day do day do day. You chant macro beats, I chant micro beats. Do day, do day, do day, do day. Do day, do day, do day, do day. You chant micro beats, I chant a pattern. Do day, do, do today, do. Do day, do day, do day to do. You chant a rhythm pattern, I chant macro beats. Do, 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 do. Echo me, please. Do, day, do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, to do, day, to do. Do ta day ta do day day do day. Do ta ta do day day do. I'm going to sing a song called The Boxer. Would you please move as if you're thinking about something that's really funny? So I'm going to check over here, make sure that I sing this right. I haven't sung this one in a while. Oh, yes. Would you please pretend that you're pushing away flies with your hand? Use a lot of space. I'm going to sing whistle, daughter, whistle. Just listen once. As I check. Can you sing the starting tone on solfege? Can you sing the resting tone? Um, do. Go ahead and pretend that you're bouncing a heavy ball using two hands. Stay in one place. We're going to do some rhythm patterns in duple meter. I'm going to chant a pattern and then I'd like for you to chant your own pattern. And it doesn't have, I was looking to make sure, I don't have anything that says it has to be in the same category. So you can chant macro micro, you can chant divisions, you can chant division elongations. Um, these are going to be division and division elongation patterns. So if you really wanna challenge yourself, try chanting something in the same category as the one that I chant. Here we go. Do day do, here we go. Do day do, to do day to do. Do ta to do day do to do. Do day to do day do to day to do. Do to day do day do to do. Do ta to do day, do ta to do today. Do ta do day, do to do. 
Do day, do day, do ta do. Do day, day, do ta to do day. We're going to do our song to sing for this unit. It's called Leaves Are Falling. La vida la se va. And if you've come through to here, starting all the way back in the keyboard games books, this song may sound very familiar. All right, go ahead and sway from side to side like your trees that are moving in the wind. Ba 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 Can you sing the starting tone syllable of the song? Ba 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 is this song in duple or triple meter? This is in triple meter. Echo these rhythm patterns, please. Di ta do da, di ta do da. Di ta do da, di ta do. So what's the category of these rhythm patterns? Macro, micro, division, division, elongation. These are upbeat patterns because they don't start with do, they start with D in this case. They could start with da or D or anything other than do. So these are upbeat patterns. Let's do them one more time. And notice how you have to breathe. It almost seems like you're breathing too soon. Dita do da, dita do da. Dita do da, dita do. So let's figure out where those patterns happen in the song. Thinking of that first pattern, dita do da, dita do da. Just listen and raise your hand when you hear that. Ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba. So it happens right away at the beginning of the song, and then when we repeat, it happens again. The second pattern, dita do da dita do, happens after that. Ba 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 dita do da dita do. Is this song in major or minor tonality? This song is in minor tonality. Go ahead and echo these tonal patterns, please. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Do me, do me, me la, me la, la me, la me. Let's think about the function of each of these tonal patterns: tonic or dominant or subdominant. Do, me. That first pattern is tonic minor or minor tonic. Me, la. That pattern is also minor tonic. La, me. That pattern is also minor tonic. So all of our tonal patterns are minor tonic or tonic minor. We're going to listen for those tonal patterns in the song, starting with do, me, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum. So it happens.
happens twice, almost in a row, right at the beginning of the song, and then again when it repeats, it happens two times. How about Me la bum bum So that pattern happens in between our two in between a couple of patterns. And then how about la me bum and then again on the repeat. Go ahead and audiate this song to discover if there's any melodic pattern that repeats. We've done rhythm patterns, that's the rhythm. Tonal patterns are the pitches. Melodic patterns are the rhythm plus the tonal patterns. So for example, our first melodic pattern is ba, ba, bum, bum. Are there any melodic patterns in this song that repeat if you think about it? So certainly if you're thinking the entire song with the whole repeat, everything repeats. But if you're thinking of just the the initial part of the song before we sing it all again then we have one little pattern that repeats ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum. does that melodic pattern two times in a row right at the beginning go ahead and sing the song with me ba, bum, bum, sing with me ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, I'm going to play Ma and Me while we sing again. Go ahead and hold up one bent finger for our tonic minor and five tall fingers for our dominant minor. Sing the root changes. That's la, la, me, la, and repeat. Sing with me. La, la, me, la, 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 me, la. Go ahead and do that again. I'll sing with you and then I'll play the melody. I started my way through it and then said, wait, we did it on syllable. All right, that's the song to sing for this unit. So now we're going to look ahead to some keyboard geography and technique. For that, we're looking at page 13, our first page in unit four. We're going to skip this side of the page today and look over here under keyboard geography and technique at number one. So number one says, review the D major scale, tonic, dominant, tonic, cadence and tonic arpeggio. Review the B minor tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence and tonic arpeggio. Review the tonic subdominant tonic melodic cadence and arpeggios when G is Do and E is La. Which means review all of our keyboard skills from unit two and unit three. So we're going to look back at page six. This is where we start our D major stuff. This is all part of our review for today anyway. So look at page six. 
Major tonality when Do is D. We have already done the tonic arpeggio. We've done it separated. We've done it connected. We've sung the syllables. So just keep practicing that a little bit, just a couple times. And then the melodic cadence, <coughs> what we're adding this time is left hand roots. And I'll show you what that sounds like. I don't think we've done these this way before. I think this is the first time. Is why I have water here. So I'm going to play the cadence in this hand. And I'm playing essentially the root harmony in this hand. And I played down for so. So, so, do. You could go the other way. Do, so, so, do. Do, so, so, do. I would probably, for D major, I would do it that way. Just for, if you're singing. If you're not singing, it doesn't matter. You can play it either way. page for the D major scale. This time I would like for you to play it connected. Go ahead and just pause and play connected style now in the D major scale. And then flip the page. Mark today's date on that. Mark today's date on add left hand roots. That means you have dates on everything for those two pages. And then over here on page eight, same thing. You've already done the whole tonic arpeggio. Definitely keep practicing the tonic arpeggio, especially if you're trying to sing all the syllables while you play, like ma do mi, ma do mi, ma do mi, la mi do la mi do la. You can do that same thing in major. I forgot that. So you can do the same thing. tried that, please practice that. Whether you've tried it or not in minor, please continue to do that or start doing that for the minor tonic arpeggio. And then for the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence. Oh, this is such a cool sound. Oh, I get to be a baritone. Love those rich sounds on the piano. Also go up. Get to be a tenor. So go ahead and start adding that if you want to have a challenge. If that's super easy, you can try singing either la do mi mi si mi re ti si la do la or la. Also, I just realized I played that last fingering differently than it said in the book. Do do the fingering that's in the book. It's better. It fits the hand better. Okay, that's those pages. Go ahead and pause and practice those two things in B minor. Make sure you mark today's date by adding left hand roots. Just put today's date again by the syllables. You could write something about all syllables, something like that. And then we're looking over at unit three, page 11, the tonic subdominant tonic when do is G. We started this last unit for the first time. In fact, it was the very last video, most recent one. So today for the melodic cadence, I'd like for you to add three things, separated style, connected style, and sing the syllables. So if you haven't been doing these, add separated, connected, sing syllables. 
Notice that when you do, so separated style, no problem. When you go to play connected, that's where you're really going to have an advantage if you're able to do this fingering over here. If that is not comfortable in your hand, don't do it. If you feel like you're stretching like this, don't play that fingering. But if it's easy for your hand, do that. If, you, if that's not comfortable, go back to this fingering. And we'll do a little fake legato or fake connected style by just have the smallest, flattest, most relaxed arm hop that you possibly can have. So not, but you wouldn't play it like that, but. So there are a couple of ways to do that. And to sing syllables, we sang them a little bit last time already. And so this time I'd like for you to be singing them while you play. Do, mi, so, la, la, do, do, mi, so, do. Okay, and then arpeggios. Go ahead and play connected styles. We just did separated last time. start to sing, at least start singing without playing. Do, do, fa, do. You can play those roots with yourself to help you sing them. Do, do, fa, do. Sing those with me now, please. Mark today's date on connected style there, separated, connected, and sing syllables for the cadence and practice those now. And then turn the page to page 12. Do those same things in B minor. So separated, connected, sing syllables for the B minor cadence. Go ahead and sing. I'll sing once and then join me. Ma, do, mi, fa, re, la, la, do, mi, la. Sing, please. Starting on la. Ma, do, mi, fa, re, la, la, do, mi, la. So practice those three things and then same thing. in B minor. There we go. If you were trying to play along just now and you were confused, I totally understand because I was playing the wrong key. Totally wrong key. There we go. That's why it looks so different than what I... Okay. So then for the arpeggios... those things and then come back over this way we have one other keyboard geography keyboard skills thing that we're gonna to practice today it's not written in your book anywhere so last time in the last unit we practiced drawing some things we practiced drawing staccatos staccato dots slurs and accents 
Today, I had I realized that in Unit 2, I had talked about how to draw some of the symbols for our accidentals, sharp, flat, natural, double sharp, and double flat, but we never actually did it. So we're going to put that in here. I want you to practice drawing these, and we're going to do it now. So I'm going to grab my paper again. with my handy dandy wonderful writing service. So sharps, sharps look like hashtags, also known as the number sign or the pound sign. If they ever say in those automated menus, um, please enter your four digit passcode followed by the pound sign. That's what they're talking about is this sign. So these are sharps, don't have to be super neat flats look like lowercase b's that just got smushed a little bit. So here are several flats. By the way, go ahead and pause this and just draw these. Now that you've seen the sharps, draw some sharps, draw some flats. A natural is interesting. So it's a funny symbol. We don't see a symbol like this often outside of music. So I've, I've drawn a natural and then the two ways that you, the two things that you draw to make one. This is how I draw it. So this is a natural sign. So what I do is I draw an L and then I draw an upside down L. So let's see if I can get some kind of back here. To draw this for you on camera. So L and then an upside down L. So go ahead and draw some natural signs. A natural, in case you're looking at that and saying, what on earth is that? A natural cancels a sharp or flat. So when we're in a piece of music, the sharp or the flat will last for a measure, a certain amount of time that's marked by a line, a bar line in your music. And the natural within that cancels it, cancels it out and takes you back to your white key. Then we have double sharps. These are just like lowercase x's. Oh, here's what I should do. I should label these. That would be helpful. Super neat, fast handwriting. So then we have double sharps. And then a double flat is just two flats right in a row. Like we couldn't think of anything more inventive to do for a double flat, so it's two flats. Double. Flat. Okay, so if you need help with any of these, go ahead and just pause the screen here. I hope I'm getting all of these on here. You can probably see ghosted through the accents and uh, staccato dots and slurs from last time. So please practice drawing those. That will be one of your assignments for this week as well. So you practice labeling it and drawing. So you Draw this and say sharps, flats, naturals, double sharps. If you really want to transfer this, transfer your learning over and make the most out of this, whenever you're drawing sharps, then name all the sharp keys on the piano. So I just drew my sharps, F sharp, B sharp, D sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Draw some flats. B flat, G flat, A flat, F flat, D flat. Draw some natural, B natural. That's your white key, your regular B. D natural, it's just a D. F natural, G natural. Same thing, double sharps, two over this way. F double sharp, B double sharp, double flat. A double flat, G double flat, D double flat, F double flat. So if you want to get the most out of this, try that. The other thing you can do is if you have any pieces of music sitting around at home, you can look for 
these things. And if you don't have any pieces of music that have any of these types of markings, then let me know and I will send you some pictures of pages that do. All right, there's that. We're gonna leave that over there. Now we're looking at the exploration, creativity, improvisation. So if you look on the left side of page 13, we're looking today at number two for this. We're gonna do number one next time. So number two, improvise an idea that uses the damper pedal, use random black keys, plan the meter and rhythm patterns. So something that uses the damper pedal, next time we're gonna get really into how to play the damper pedal very nicely. Okay, so go ahead and do this project. And then we're going to do the project that's not in the book today. Okay, so last time I said, oh, today you're going to get to play this whole improv project where you play the rhythm pattern on the tonic chord, then you play it on the two chord, which is super tonic, and then you play it on the two chord again, then you play it on the tonic. That was not how we were doing it last time, but that is how we're doing it today, mostly. The chords are a little different. So I'm gonna tell you what's going on. We're gonna practice the chords. I'm gonna give you a demonstration, and then I'm gonna walk you through it as you play. All right, so we're go I'm gonna give you a duple meter rhythm pattern. You're going to improvise with the rhythm pattern using any or all of the three tones of the tonic triad when D is Do, D like dog. Then you're going to improvise with the rhythm pattern, same pattern, using any or all of the three tones of the triad on the third scale degree when D is Do. One, two, three. My top note is going to be C sharp, just because that's the note that's in the D major scale. So when we're playing these chords in a scale, we use whatever note is already in the scale. We call that the diatonic note. So the three chord, and then we're going to use the same rhythm pattern to improvise on notes from the triad on the second scale degree. It would be like this because it's a minor chord. One, two. Which would be re, fa, la. By the way, the three chord was mi, so, ti, re, fa, la. And then fourth, you're going to use the same rhythm pattern to improvise on tones from the tonic triad. Do, mi, so. So your four times you're playing the rhythm pattern are one chord, do, mi, so. Second one is the three chord, mi, so, ti. Then the two chord, re, fa, la. Then the one chord. Do, mi, so. so I want you to help me find these chords. So when D is Do, can you please play one at a time or all together? Do, Mi, So. When D is Do, can you please play the three chord? Do, Re, Mi, Mi, So, Ti. Then can you please play the two chord? Re, Fa, La. And then the one chord. Do, Mi, So. So here's what this would look like when I put all this together. We're in duple meter. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Do, de, do, here I go. Do, de, to do, de, do, de, to do, de, one chord. So one, three, two, one. If you're having trouble, you're saying, oh, I can't do that. That's just, that's too much. Try this. Just play the root. Just play do for the first rhythm. through this, I'm going to play that so that you can hear it. 
while you play. And you can play that same thing, just on Do, just on Mi, just on Re, just on Do, or you can play something using Do, Mi, Sol, Mi, Sol, Ti, Re, La, La, Do, Mi, Sol. Okay, enough talk, let's try it. Your turn. So go ahead and move in duple meter with me. Do, de, do, echo with your voice. Do day to do day, do day to do day. One key, do day to do day, do day to do day. All right, keep moving. Here we go. Ready, play. One. time and whichever hand you use to improvise play with the other hand now I'm going to use the same hands because I'm trying to do a couple of things over here so this time I'm not going to play that with you I'm going to sing do me as you go all right so do day to do day do day to do day ready other hand now you play. Do, mi, re, do. All right. And in future units, we're going to keep on doing stuff like this. So, if you were playing that thinking, this was so cool, we're going to keep doing that. If you were playing that thinking, I can't do it, it's too hard, don't worry, we're going to keep practicing. And if you found it too difficult, please tell me. We'll do it together at the group class check-in so you can practice it again. If you thought it was super awesome and you really want to do it again with me, tell me and we'll do it together at the group class check-in. If you thought, eh, it was fine, we'll move on to other stuff. Okay. Review. We've already done half the review that we need to do because we're reviewing units two and three in book three. So turning, let's turn to book, book three. We're in book three. Turn to unit three. So this is page 10. We're looking at Mexican dance. And what we're going to add today is two new chialities. So what I'd like for you to do, this is an E major, duple meter, melody starts on so. Go ahead and play the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence with me when E is Do and sing the syllables. Do, Mi, So, So, Ti, So, Fa, Mi, Ti, Do, Mi, Do. Now go ahead and play this song with me. I'll play it twice. You can join me the second time if you want. Try to play both hands if you can. Do, day, do, here I go. Do, day, do, play again. Remember, we're looking for so me, so me. We tried that last time, moving that into a new key. So we're going to go in C major. So we're looking for so me, so me. And then make sure that you're also hearing. play in another new chiality of your choice. Go ahead and practice that, mark it down, and do that now. And then we're looking at unit two. We're going to look at 
monkey game. So for this song, what we're adding today is the new tonality and new meter. So two videos ago, we looked at two new keyalities. We're going to go back to the original one. Go ahead and play this with me. I'm going to play it one time playing the melody, one time playing the accompaniment, so you can kind of get back into this song. Duple meter, harmonic minor tonality, La is A. Remember, we're looking for this, and then C, mini, ma. Do, day, do, play with me. C, mini, ma. Ready to play again? Our la do is going to become do me. We're going to play this in our relative major. So when A is la, C is do. La do. Like our first two notes of the song. So our first tonal pattern is going to be do me. And then our C me la is going to be become T. I just moved over a little bit, so I moved a little higher. Find do me, and then T so. You can find this in either hand or both, and then stay on that same so and go so do. Let's play this in C major. Do day do play with me. our C major. So go ahead and stop and practice that if you need to. And then for new meter, you can play it in C major or go back to the original A minor. Just a second phrase. So new meter, probably we change to our do D's. Do da di do, here I go. Do di do di do di do di do. and play that in triple meter. And then mark today's date down on that, and that's all of our review for today. The last thing that we're going to do today is French folk song. This is our new keyboard piece. So I'm going to play, go ahead and move and tell me if you think it sounds like duple meter or triple meter. triple meter and the whole song was repeated. So I played the entire song twice. So this song has two parts. Go ahead and echo these rhythm patterns after I play the part of the song that they're in, the part of the piece. Do, 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 da, di, do, di. Those are your two parts. Let's label that first rhythm pattern. 
uh, the function. Do, 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 da, dee, do, dee. That one is an elongation pattern because of that do, dee at the end. And how about this one? Do, 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 da, dee, do. That one's a macro micro pattern or macro beat micro beat. Go ahead and audiate this song, hear it in your head, and name the tonality, major or minor. This is in major tonality. Can you audiate the resting tone? <laughs> Echo these tonal patterns, please. times in this song we have uh, we have something interesting that happens with our tonal patterns right away at the beginning we have our first tonal pattern now listen for this one tone in between that happens again at the end of the song with our second ending we have two passing tones at the end of the song all right, go ahead and come to the keyboard. Turn in your book. Nope, nope, I'm in the wrong book. Turn in your book to French folk song. This is in unit four, page 14. 14 in your book. Read the music information box. The song is in triple meter, major tonality. Do is G. Melody starts on Go ahead and sit in a comfortable position to play the piece. This is in roughly the middle of the piano. Our do is in between middle C and treble C. So let's play the G major tonic dominant tonic arpeggios and we're going to sing do, do, so, do. Tonic dominant tonic, not to confuse. Do. tonal patterns from the song. fingers on the piano keys. You can use either hand to play this melody. And then think the starting key. Think which finger that's going to be in whichever hand you're using. And then we're going to play the first two macro beat motive. It's just go ahead and play that with me. Do da di do ready play. Now, think about the second motive. So, I'm going to play it, and then I'd immediately like for you to join me. Go ahead and think through it while I play. Ready, think. 
Now let's play the second ending. So the first ending was fa, re, mi, do, with our passing tone in between fa, re. Our second ending is just fa, do, do, do. Go ahead and play that ending with me. Fa, do. Let's play the whole piece. Do da di do melody only. Now I'm going to play the accompaniment with you. There are actually two different accompaniments, so I'm going to play this song twice in a row. Go ahead and play the melody twice in a row, so you can hear the two different accompaniments. Do da di do. just our tonic and dominant changes and then I'm going to have you play them. I'll play those with the melody. So why don't you just listen and try to say tonic dominant. sometimes. This is actually for the second accompaniment. You could totally play the chord changes that way. Totally fine. But that's for the second pattern. Okay, so now can you play with me the melody and the chord changes at the same time? Do da di do play with me. this very slowly putting it together a little bit with the melody. This is going to take practice to learn each one of these patterns. So don't get frustrated if you're not immediately playing these. It, it usually takes a while. So the first one is over here on the left side in your tonic and down accompaniment here. So do mi so is what we're using for the tonic chord. T fa so which in your book looks like T dot so, T fa so, that's the dominant chord, and back to do mi so. together with this hand. So we're going to go slow-mo. Are you ready for this? Do, da, di, do. the second 
second accompaniment, that's do, so, so, with the tonic chord. But the dominant chord, it's T, so, so. by itself while I play it together. Ready, play now. All right, super slow-mo. Are you ready? We're gonna try it hands together. Go ahead and pause at any point here and practice that part. I know I'm going right in to hands together. Let's try this. Do da dee do ready play now. Practice both of those patterns, the accompaniment parts by themselves, and then try super slowly to put them together. Also, another thing you can try, certainly try this when you're playing the melody only. You can try this also when you're playing the melody and the root harmony. pedal and what you're going to do is change the pedal that's our terminology for go up and down up and down and what I found when I was learning to coordinate the pedal was it was very helpful for me to do it rhythmically so we're gonna do it this way up down oops up just the melody if you want to or the melody and the root harmony while you try the pedaling with me and when you start a piece with pedal start with your foot down down on the pedal remember heels always there you're rocking your foot back and forth do da di do ready play with the pedal up down. <laughs> up Practice all of those things. Okay, pause and practice any part of that that you need to work on right now. Make sure you mark today's date on melody. The melody in the other hand, we did not do that, so make sure you play the melody in the other hand. Play the accompaniment and try it with <clears throat> hands together with the root harmony, certainly. And then the accompaniment patterns by themselves. Try super slowly to play the two parts together. All right, recap. Here are your assignments, including the ones that are not written down in your book. So grab your assignment book and get a pen or a pencil. And here we go. Assignment number one. Pattern CD tracks 20 through 22. That's 20, 21, and 22. These are all review. And the audio tracks for book three, eight, and nine. Those are the song to sing and French folk song. So that's number one. Pattern CD tracks 20 through 22 and the audio tracks for book three, eight, and nine. Number two, keyboard skills. On page 13, number one. Review the D major scale, atomic, dominant, atomic, cadence, blah, 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 blah. So that's the stuff from pages six to eight and pages 11 to 12. So if you want, under number two, you can write pages six through eight and pages 11 through 12. Number three, 
draw and label the five accidentals. If you really want to be cool, try playing them as you label. Number four, improv. Page 13 over here, exploration, creativity, improvisation. Number two, number two, that's project four. Assignment five, review units two and three. In your book over here, book listening assignments, it says review book three, unit three and two, two and three. That's five. Six, this is ASL for six, by the way. I know it looks like, that's what I just did for three. Okay, six, there we go. Reduce the confusion. French folk song, seven. Last section of the book, Rhythm Pattern Projects, page 60. I would like for you to look at project five, five only, using track four and track one. So this is why we're only doing one project. It uses two different tracks. So project five, using Pattern CD track four and Pattern CD track one. Okay, thank you so much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano, book three, unit 4A. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks, bye.